Okay. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Death on Click, and I am back with some more. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just have a little bite. I am back with some more Knights of the Old Republic. Let's get it. Now, last time we were on. I think we had just gone to the Harbinger. Our boy. Here, we're just gonna auto level them up. I really don't care about them. Because by the time we do what we want, yes. we're gonna be super powerful. Alright. Okay. Oh, this door looks busted. Let's see what's up with this. Nothing. Okay. Open says me. Lots of dead dudes. Oh. I remember this room. I remember this room because this is like the first like ambush. Ooh. Matukai apprentice robe. Let's see what that does for us. Oh yeah. Plus one con, plus one dex, plus one strength. And we look like a Jedi. Sounds good to me, nav computer. How many parts do we have? Thirteen. Repair, reroute the nav computer. You've rerouted the system and the access what remains of the ship's astrogation capabilities. Download the orbital drift charts for the Paragus asteroid field. Downloaded. Nice. Check Harbinger logs. Emergency broadcast. Checking on passengers to Telos. Sir, we've just received an emergency broadcast. A freighter under attack by Sith forces. Can you get an ID on the ship? Yes, sir. We have its ID signature. It's not in our databanks, but its profile suggests some low-stock freighter. It says it's being hit hard by a Sith warship. Hmm. Sir? I'll need to confirm with command before we move to intercept. Okay. Report. The Sith warship is empty, sir. We attached an umbilical and sent three strike teams through it, and there's no sign of a crew or its commander. There's no one on board? What about the escape pods? They're still in their berths, sir. This place, it's empty. It's like a ghost ship. Then who was firing at the freighter? We don't know, sir. The freighter's empty, too. We, we did a clean sweep and nothing except a lone T3 unit, badly damaged. Did you still want a tractor beamed to the harbinger? Search the freighter and the warship one more time. If they're clean, then we'll tractor the freighter over. Yes, sir. No idea why the Admiral thought that freighter worth all the effort. But we'll find out. Everyone on the Evan Hawk was dead, sir. We're starting autopsies within the hour. What about that Sith corpse we retrieved from the warship? We haven't had a chance to fully examine it, sir. He looks human, but he's fractured in several places. Then keep me posted. Something's wrong here, and I want to know where all those Sith on the warship went. We're still experiencing a problem with the communications array, and now maintenance is telling me there's a cascade failure in the weapons. Sir, I just picked up an unusual sound from MedLab. Ah! I have come for the Jedi. What the hell was that? Sir, I don't know. Communications just got cut. Send a security team to MedLab, now! Okay. I know we get ambushed here at some point, but all right, now we're looking Jedi-ish. All right, let's move through. I'll take this door first. That's a blast door. Oh, look. Oh yeah, we're definitely in combat. I can see this little bastard right here. Let's try to shock him. And we'll go power. What's up? What's good? Oh yeah, now you're... Oh, you're gonna get busted right now. Oh 
Unlimited power! Is there more? Alright, cool. We got these guys down. Hell yeah. No remains from them. Most good. Ah, oh. activated my deflector shield. Adrenal alacrity, sixty-six credits. We're coming up on a decent amount of credits, that's for sure. Last steel cylinder. Where'd the homies go? What, they don't want to join me? Let's go. Just another, oh, there it is. Shock him. Power attack, regular attack. Let's go. Shocked. Oh, got him. Come on. Come on, drop some cool stuff. You guys are like cool to fight. Alright, fine. Open the door. Unlimited power! You got nothing on me, cut. Skate pods. Cylinder. All escape pods have been locked. They cannot be used. Okay. Go check that blast door now. This door has been magnetically sealed and cannot be opened. We missed something for sure, I think. Interesting. Hmm. Alright, let's go just double back real quick. Make sure we didn't miss anything. No, we got everything. Hmm, interesting. Very, very interesting. And we can't open this, huh? Maybe there's a way to open it from the console. This way. Oh dang, did we miss this door? Apparently. Med pack. I say that as if med packs aren't cool. Med packs are definitely cool. 
Okay, so I'm guessing this blast door is unavailable as well. Here we go. My guy. Sucks for you, let me tell you. Where would that came from? <laughs> Unlimited power! Just shock everything. Yeah, I don't know. For all those foolios that were saying force powers aren't very good at the start, I don't know. They seem pretty amazing to me. Medpack chemicals. Check briefing logs. Course change on the from Onderon to the outer rim. There's not enough ships out there, and we're already hard pressed to keep patrolling the regions under our jurisdiction. I'm afraid we're going to lose it all. There's just not enough ships and too much territory to cover. We're still rebuilding from the war with Malik, and sometimes I wonder if we'll ever recover. Still, we have our orders, and the Republic's put the highest priority on this mission. Looks like the trouble on Onderon will have to wait. Oh, I have to double check, make sure. picked up a distress signal and are sending a message to the Republic for permission to investigate. We have also transmitted the damaged vessel's ID signature to the Republic. According to the message, it's being pursued by Sith forces. There is no match for the vessel in our databanks, but the profile of the distress signal suggests it's a stock freighter of some kind. We'll only know for sure when we arrive, and we'll find out if the signal's genuine or a trap. Okay. As ordered, we've picked up the passengers from the outer rim and have made quarters for them. Once aboard, we've plotted a course for Telos. We expect to arrive within 10 standard days, provided there's no mishaps. I've been ordered to give the passenger no special treatment, nor make any indication of his identity. I have some reservations about turning the Harbinger into a passenger liner, but the orders were clear. Whoever this passenger is, he's got diplomatic level priority, whether he knows it or not. We wanted to check with you, sir, before diverting course from Telos. There appears to be some battle that has taken place in the sector, and we've received a distress signal. You have permission to divert course, Captain. If there's a Sith presence in the region, I want you to investigate. The ID signature on the freighter, did you get confirmation on it? Yes, sir. We did not have the vessel listed in our databanks, so we transmitted the code to you. Was there a match? There was, Captain. If you find any trace of that vessel, even wreckage, I want it. Yes, sir. After you've investigated the sector, resume course to Telos with the passenger. It is of the highest importance that he reach Telos. Yes, sir. I'll make sure he arrives intact. Good hunting, Captain. Admiral Nassi out. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder if the right hand of the Republic knows what the left hand is doing. I'm always being kept in the... D Query. You sent for me, Captain. Yes, I need you to check on the passenger again, see if there's anything he needs. Try not to be too obvious about it. His safety is our top concern. Statement. I shall use the utmost discretion, Captain. As always, it is my pleasure to serve. Okay. Ooh, I see you, you little bastard. Unlimited power! There's the level up. Security failure. Med pack. Oh, 
Adrenal stamina, exchange work gloves. Okay. All right, let's level up. Skills. Of course, we're going to go awareness, persuade, security, and treat injury. Improved force. Uh, you've been granted the following feats this level. Improved for force focus and unarmed specialist two. What we're going to try and go for. Um, wait, what is that? What did we have last time? Oh, that's right. We want to get computer use. Hmm. Force sensitive would be good on rare occasion. However, exceptional individual open doors to strengths they did not know they had. This feat represents a heightened connection to the Force. Previously unseen or newly trained Jedi. Okay. Well. Yeah, I might as well get computer use. Powers. Ooh, can we get Dominate Mind? We can. And we will. And we can get another power. We're not ready for Force Lightning just yet. Or Force Confusion. Ooh, we can get Horror. Which is the way to go. This power causes all hostile creatures within a five meter radius of a target enemy to cower in catatonic fear of the attacking Jedi for 12 seconds. A successful will save of a DC of five plus attacking characters level plus the attacking characters wisdom and charisma modifiers in the case of effects. This power does not affect droids. That's okay. We're not worried about droids, but super legit. Catatonic fear. Dirty. I accept. Shall we? Harbinger crew quarters. Loot. Gamorian war gloves. We have Gamorian Gauntlets. Gamorian War Gloves would be Defense 3, Dexterity, Negative 2. What? what do we want? Rockin', the plus 4 physical. This one's got skills, computer use 1, demo 3, security 3, and dex plus 1. That's actually really good. We're going with it. What else do we have? Yeah, all saves is not bad. But the dex is good because we are using dex. Oh, electrical energy. Let's see, reflex two. Looking good so far. Yeah, sweet. were my quarters. I just need a second. This was my room. Hold on. I want to search this room. Hmm. 
This was your room? When? Before I lost consciousness, I woke up on a para uh, on Paragus. We do not have much time. Whatever you intend to do, do it quickly. My, I gotta get my draws. Heat shield mark one. Death on clicks armband. Death on clicks data pad. Med pack. Death on click. You are requested to report to the Harbinger Medical Bay for routine examination. The routine is automated. Simply insert this data pad into the medical computer to receive your injections. Timeout. Death on clicks armband. Con plus one. That's what's up. Skill too low? Well, we got ways around that. Oh, wait a minute. No, we kind of don't. Or I already have them on. Okay, so use a tunneler. Wow, skill still too low. That's dirty. Okay, we got some enemies. You trying to sneak up behind me, dude? It's not very nice. Unlimited power! This Insanity. Catatonic fear. Take you down to size. So one of them cowered. The other one must have made a saving throw. Credits. That's a door. They're both doors. Really so don't matter. Let's check this one. Long door. Do it this way. Dang, we still can't get through there. So maybe there's a back way. No. Medical bay. Probably use a Colto tank. Insert data pad, check treatment request, death on click, death on click treatment request. Set it to dismiss during routine examination 3.5 days ago. Emergency override enacted, doses exceeds safety protocols. During your last medical exam, you were administered a delayed sedative that would kill a normal human being. That must be what rendered you unconscious when the harbinger was taken out. Identify the Colto tank. Sure. Check medical log, Sith wreckage report. Something's wrong. Ever since we picked up that Sith firefight in the region, crewmen haven't been reporting for their shifts, and I can't reach people on the comm. The strange thing is, I keep feeling like someone's watching us here in the ship, but I can't see anyone. I don't like this. Survivor. Checking the survivor from the Sith vessel. I'm not sure whether he's alive or dead, or what's even keeping him together. His flesh is cracked and scarred. And I'm registering several thousand fractures in his skeleton, as if each bone was splintered repeatedly over time, then put back together. Sounds Judging like Darth Sion. Scar tissue, I believe these wounds took place before his death. If so, he must have been in constant pain. I have no idea what's been keeping him together. Emergency broadcast. This is the medical officer. The soldiers sent to the medical bay have just died. I don't know where the subject went. I think he's gone to find more of the crew. With him or Sith, they just appeared right out of thin air, like they were wearing stealth generators, but I think they were always on board. When we stopped to pick up that freighter, they must have come on board the Harbinger. I have no idea how many are on the ship. There could be only a few, or as many as a hundred. And with communications cut off, we can't call for help. I think that thing in the tank was a Sith Lord, alive the whole time, waiting for something to wake him up. Nice.
Attempt to get chemicals from the medical computer dispenser. Chemicals dispensed. Check camera recordings. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, shoot. That's my controller. Wait, what happened? Like Dar Sion to me. Yeah, baby. Okay, sorry. Was uh, just checking my text messages real quick. Got something from my boss. Some praise too. It's kind of cool. All right, let's log out. We got some chemicals. Death on clicks. Colto tank. Appears to be active. Do you wish to heal yourself? Sure. Your wounds have been healed. Sweet. Broken Colto tank. Yeah. Y'all messed up. Damaged medical droid. Ooh, plastic cylinder. Repair kit. Credits and chemicals. Repair, reactivate the droid. Three parts. Hmm. Medical droid looks damaged. If it could be repaired, you might be able to activate its medical circuits and have it accompany you to treat your wounds. Leave it alone. No, thank you. Energy shield and chemicals. Credits and chemicals. Definitely coming up on credits, that's for sure. Medical bay door. Where are we actually headed right now? Okay. This place is pretty big, so... Found a lot of plasteel cylinders in between these Colto tanks. See, I may have missed some. Make sure we just double back real quick. Yeah, nice call. Blaster carb carbine, okay. Parts and chemicals. Let's just check this way real quick. It might actually wrap around to the back side here. Med pack and credits. The blast door is magically sealed. Oh, of course. Unlimited power! Let's do horror. Unlimited. All right, our homies just leveled up. Yep, the auto level up is the way we're doing these guys because we really don't care. All right, moving out. Unlimited. Power. 
fucking medical droid. We got a Colto tank. Lab station. We could play with that. Sith assassin. And one behind us. I'm going to take care of this one real quick. And then I'm going to train for this on him. I got you, B. I got you. Get you some. Missed. You die. I dodge. Oh, come on. Okay. Now we definitely horror. Horror. I will this I will power. Good job, you guys. Actually, took them out quite easily. Get him! That's what's good. Failure. Let's try that again. What? Let's go. Okay, what do we have? Utility droid deactivated. Utility droid. Soldier, Mandalorian melee shield, droid maintenance data pad, droid maintenance log. I don't know whether this HK-50 droid is a gift or a curse. After the destruction of the previous protocol droid, when it accidentally activated that frag mine, the HK ha has stepped into its place without a hitch. Problem is, it doesn't take commands very well, and most of the time I have no idea where it's been. There's reports it's been sighted in the crew quarters with the Admiral in maintenance and even in med lab of all places. And when I ask the droid about it, it gives me a smart mouth response after facilitating communication. I don't know who commissioned these HK models, but I don't like them. Purposefully sabotaged. Not cool. Not cool. Okay, so that's the, the blast doors that we couldn't get into around the other side. Poor droids. That's the turbo lift. We don't necessarily need that just yet. We've been through there. Have we checked this area yet? Nope. Chemicals and credits another blast door we couldn't get through I wonder though could we come around the front side of it because I don't think we went up that way oh yeah that's the way we came isn't it hmm, let's just double check it looks skeptical aha Good thing we did. Okay, cool. Oh, there they are. Let's horror real quick. Got them both. Yeah, we'll go ahead and just attack a little bit. Now we shock. Everyone down. And shock again. Boom. These fools don't drop any gear though? Like, what's up, man? We could use some stealth generators or even. I don't know. It is what it is. Nothing? Boo. Okay, cool. My curiosities have been satisfied. 
And now we continue. We're still on difficult mode? This is actually playing out really easily so far. I'm a little surprised. <gasps> no! Dang it. Well, now we're a little faster. Ooh, loot room. Repair kit credits. Oh, it's not as big a loot room as I had it had hoped, I suppose. Disruptor carbine, med pack, parts, and some components. Heavy combat suit. Pretty cool. All right, from here, I think we take the turbo lift. Looks like some shit's going down. I have a bad feeling about this. Your bad feeling is going to be replaced by blinding pain if you don't be quiet. All right, but don't say I didn't warn you. Trust me. When it comes to staying alive, I'm rarely wrong about these things. Atten has the special ability to sense anything that places him at risk. When he gets a bad feeling, it's recommended that you save your game. Influence loss with Atten. That's okay. We don't need him or anybody else. One person. I All I need is an apprentice. Nobody else. Saving game. Game saved. Yeah, it's probably going to be a fight. It's probably the Dark Scion fight soon, too. It's actually a pathetic attempt at a Darth Sion fight. He should just completely crush us. And there he is. <clears throat> this battle is mine alone. I am not defenseless. Just foolish. He cannot kill what he cannot see, and power has blinded him long ago. Run. I shall be along shortly. <laughs> All right, if you say so, lady. Uh, I don't suggest it. Okay. But if you insist. Even the maintenance door looks like different and almost dark. Detonator gloves, disruptor carbine, parts, computer spike. Sweet. Workbench. We could probably... Let's upgrade items. Can we upgrade... Oh, just the miner suit and the heavy combat suit. How about the vibroblade? What can we do to this bad boy, huh? Zabrak gr grip. Enhanced energy cell. Mild Devarian edge. Or basic ionite edge. Yeah. Assemble. That's a pimped out vibro blade. Pimped out. Okay. 
click some more stuff. Mandalorian melee shield targeting visor. Chemicals and another vibro blade. Mm, Harbinger maintenance control. Reroute the maintenance control systems. Slice the maintenance control systems. Well, let's repair it. You've routed the system and access what remains of the ship's maintenance routine capabilities. Open maintenance doors to the ion engines. And there it is. Log out. used to get somewhat weary around large engines. You never know if it's just going to come bust. Activate engine maintenance procedure. Damn. This is literally the last 500 experience. Easiest Tell me you're joking. Ever. We are not going to cross back into the Paragas facility through the fuel line. That's crazy. The only way to get around the sealed door and hangar with the Evan Hawk is. You need to trust me. Come on. Past few hours have been crazy in case you were sleeping. Now keep moving. All right. I sent you, my master. Faint. Weak. Your senses betray you as you betrayed me. After all that's happened, still you live. You are difficult to kill. For one as limited as you, perhaps. To have fallen so far and learned nothing, that is your failing. The failure is yours. No longer do your whispers crawl within my skull. No longer do I suffer beneath teachings that weaken us. And now you run in search of the Jedi. They are all dead, save one. And one broken Jedi cannot stop the darkness that is to come. Perhaps we shall see. Ah. Fool. Lost your hand? Aw, oh, what? What's wrong? Are you alright? Damn it, hold on. It's only a little farther. Don't give up on me now. What happened to you? My hand felt like it was being dipped in molten carbonite. I don't know, but we need to keep moving. Kreia, I think she was wounded badly. Huh? How do you know that? Call it instinct reaction. I think it was through the force. Look, if she's in pain, then that pain's buying us time we can't afford to waste. Especially if sleeps with vibroblades gets tired of playing with her and decides to use us for practice next. <laughs> sleeps with vibroblades. All right, let's go. What? Light side points? Boo! Oh, that's it. See, you let up just a little bit on being a dick. It's a utility droid. Looks like it's been hit with an ion charge and dumped here. I know we were um, warm up your systems and let's go. Hangar 25 control conduit. Components and a repair kit. Dang, he got blowed up. Foolish droid. Sorry, dude. Nobody cares about you. Just dumping on everybody, not giving a fuck. Okay, let's go. 
credits, energy shield. Sonic grenade. I could have sworn this guy had or something, but I guess not. Busting it up. Busting it up. Let's go. Busting it up. Uh, I hear you. Time for you to die again, buddy. That's messed up. <laughs> Poor T3. All right, let's level him up real quick. That's messed up. T3, auto level up. Let's go. Dang. Just getting dumped on like crazy. Look at that. Just come in and destroy. They said it wouldn't be good till T Telos. I'm already just shocking the world. Come around the corner and Pazak. OT3. Try to recover that mine, yeah? Jeez. Kind of suck at that, don't you? All right, let's see what's good over here. Holy cow. Just redonkulous right now. Med pack, energy shield, adrenal stamina, chemicals. Just redonkulous. What's going on? Energy shields down. Leveled up. Level up skills. Same for all day. It's paying off so much right now. Powers. Okay. Can we get... Jeez, what level is it? Level nine? Hmm, okay. Um... Energy resistance, force barrier, battle meditation. Plus two to attack rolls, plus two to damage, plus two to will saves to all party members. It also increases the vitality point. Regeneration rate of the party. This effect lasts for 20 seconds. Will affect, oh, this power group. To all party members. That's pretty legit. This power enables the character to use their own health to fuel force powers. All force powers take 50% of their cost from vitality points and 50% from force points. The effect lasts 30 seconds. That's not bad. Uh, revitalize power allows the generator to rekindle the life energies of any non-droid fallen ally. This brings the single closest fallen ally back to consciousness with 5% of their total vitality points. Force deflection, stun, stun droid would be good. Force valor, burst of speed, force aura. To defense and all saving throws. 
power increases physical attributes, saving throws. Hmm. Heal might not be bad. Heals all party members within a 15 meter radius. It heals 5 vitality points plus 1 for every charisma modifier, wisdom modifier, and level of the force user. Its power does not affect droids. Improved heal and master heal. I'm not against taking heal. Heal could be really good. Throw lightsaber. Hmm. A oh, wound. Of course, if we want choke or kill. Stun droid. You know what, let's take heal. Why not? Just in case. Oh, you can just use it out of combat. Two down the way. He's down. Good. Oh, look, he keeps getting up. There we go. Oh, that's right. We, we do have a pretty kick butt viral blade, especially against droids. Understandable. This way, real quick. Let's see if these. There's any loot over here. It's containment field. Oh, but it's not going to work for the droid. Computer spike. Paragus docking bay. Nice. OK. 
Okay, we've been here. Time to take you down to size. More where that came from. Big guys, you know? Okay. Nothing, huh? No loot from them. This door's magnetically sealed. I can't believe this. The ship's right out there, and we can't get to it. Huh? What is that piece of junk saying? Go to the terminal and open it. He said he can open the door to the hangar. He just needs to access the hangar terminal up on the platform. How can you even understand that noise? All right, well, if he can slice the door open from the terminal above, don't let me stop him. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We just force shot everything. Droid deflector mark one. What is it? Why? Droid Impact Armor Mark 1. Unlimited power! Even on difficulty mode. Difficult mode. Unlimited power! <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh my god. More components, always good. Let's see if we're still dying, huh? T3 caught a fade. I hear you. Can you just disable the mine? There you go, little buddy. That's not so bad now, is it? Thank <laughs> you. 
Busted. Busted these cats up. Just rust buckets. Just. Wow. Um, okay. Of course. messed up, man. Okay, reroute the main console system, slice the computer, destroy the console to open the decontamination door. Repair, reroute the main console system. It's going to be parts. Oh! Insufficient spikes, okay. Decontaminate chamber. Okay. Interesting. I hear you. Four spikes. Sweet. That was a lot easier. So use the droid for that, for sure. Metal box, med pack, and repair kit. Environment underlay mark one and a repair kit. There's the Evan Hawk. Yeah, boy. Now let's see if we can hunt down some loot real quick. Chemicals. Cargo canister with an adrenal strength in it. Forty nine credits. Significant. Broken droid. Droid optimized interface. Two of them at a repair kit. shield
Droid Repulsor, Deflector Mark 1, and Repair Kit. And is that all? Looks like it. To the Ebon Hawk. This is the loading ramp of the Ebon Hawk. Once bored, you'll be leaving the mining facility for good. Step away from the loading ramp. Nope. Enter the Ebon Hawk. We are out of here. Quick! We're gonna need some time to fire up the engines. Let's give the laser turret a workout. What is this? Laser turret. The Sith have boarded the ship. Prepare to repel boarders. Let's make sure we level them up. There is no time. We must leave. If they hit us, we're dead. But if they keep missing us, we're dead. It's great odds. <laughs> Somebody shut that trash compactor up. What are the asteroids? They can be destroyed by us as well as them, can they not? That'll take out the whole field, the colony, and maybe us. We might not even be able to jump to hyperspace in time. Then we die here. Choose now. Hold on, this is gonna get a little rocky. Boom, and we're out of there. Can we well, please Well, now that we just killed a planet, this. maybe one of you can tell me what's going on. Because between assassin droids, a Sith Lord that looks like he sleeps with vibroblades, and being target practice for a Republic warship, I was better off in my cell. The Republic warship was the Harbinger. It was seized on its way to Telos by the Sith. They sought you, Jedi.
Yes, to aid in the recovery effort there. Many roads lead to Telos, including ours. Not like we have much of a choice, the Paragus astrogation charts being what they are. It is where we must go, and where the Harbinger was bound before our unfortunate encounter on Paragus. How did you know I was on board the Harbinger? You were difficult to find, but coincidence was on our side. When I learned that you were on the vessel, I knew the Sith would not be far behind. When we intercepted the Harbinger, it was crippled, drifting in space. It was a simple matter to board the vessel and rescue you. Unknown to me, however, the Sith were already on board. Just as we made the jump to hyperspace, they fired upon us, nearly destroying the Ebon Hawk. True. But as one trained in the Force, you know that true coincidences are rare. Mm. Whatever occurred on board the Harbinger had rendered you unconscious. Though your thoughts were faint, I was still able to find you sealed in one of the cargo holds. I do not know how the Ebon Hawk was able to make it to Pope. Be silent. We're having a conversation here. He says he repaired the ship and got us to Paragus. Repaired this ship. My eye. Next thing you know, it's going to claim credit for saving our skins. If that little noisemaker says it repaired the ship once, then it can prove it by doing it again. Go on. Get it. That is not an easy question to answer. Got away from the Sith. The threat is greater him? than you know, and I do not believe it is a battle that can be fought. If we don't stop them, they're going to keep coming. They're eager to fight us. I say we fight back. So what do you think we should do? I've heard enough. No, this interests me. Look, enough with the we already. We cannot hope to triumph against them alone. To stop them, you will need weapons, allies, and a teacher. In the end, I fear it may not be enough. I will not run from the Sith, or anyone. You fought in the Mandalorian Wars, and it cost you everything. Are you willing to sacrifice as much again? If the Sith threaten me, then they die. You are not listening to me. This is not like any field of battle you have ever fought in. Think carefully on your choice. If you choose to fight, if you choose war, it is a path few turn from once the first steps are taken. It carries with it a terrible price. And in the end, you may find you have nothing left to sacrifice. Only the Sith will pay the price. For if evil is not fought, then we sacrifice the galaxy. <laughs> Your fool's words echo of a Jedi. You have much to learn. Why are these Sith? Because you are the last of the Jedi. Once you are dead, then they have won. But I was exiled from the Jedi Order. Next time someone calls me a Jedi, they'll be lying in a pool of their own blood. Never heard no. I'm not a Jedi. Not any longer. Whatever lies you tell yourself are of no consequence. The Sith believe you to be a Jedi Knight, and that is all that matters. We're laughing. They can't be true. What happened to the Jedi? The Jedi Civil War destroyed the Jedi. By the war's end, barely a hundred Jedi remained. Many fell in battle, and many more were seduced by Revan's teachings.
Many Jedi blamed the teachings of the Jedi Masters for Revan's fall, and the civil war that followed. The Jedi Academy on Dantooine is nothing more than a crater that echoes with the ghosts of dead Jedi, and the Jedi Temple on Coruscant lies empty. The waters in the Room of a Thousand Fountains have fallen still, in reverence to the fallen Jedi and those now lost. Perhaps, but they are Jedi no longer. If the Sith have not already slain them, then they will not help you, nor can you help them. But we have spoken long enough, and my wound pains me. If you have other questions, find me in the crew quarters. There we will speak more. Hey, don't stop your long, boring rants on my account. I was just getting sleepy-eyed. Also, in private, we will be mercifully free from the opinions of imbeciles and fools. Look, uh... Not like I care or anything, but we might want to go check on our passenger, especially with that hand of hers. We're on autopilot until we hit Telos. Until then, a droid could fly this thing. Dark side shift. Okay. Um, this might be a good stopping point for me. I'm tired. I gotta get up in the morning. Um, plus, I'm gonna go spend some time with the wife, but. Totally a fun game, and we are going to play some more. We're probably going to play some more tomorrow, possibly tomorrow morning. So uh, we'll definitely revisit this game soon. Anyways, I uh, just wanted to thank all of the all you guys who stopped in, and especially our new friends we had earlier today. And uh, you guys have a wonderful night. You know, uh, stay cool. Much love.